Hello, I'm Jan Wright, Associate Superintendent for Teaching and Learning, and we're here to talk to you about board briefs for the June 22nd meeting. Uh, at the board meeting, we put on display uh, the curriculum that was developed this year. We've, we've had some revisions in our K-5 science curriculum and our 612 applied learning curriculum. So these curriculum will be on public display until July 27th and you can view them on our website and provide feedback to us. Also, I wanted to inform you about some of the things that are going on this summer. First of all, we have summer school uh, in progress right now. We have about 176 students who have been enrolled in our enrichment program. And that entails different courses in art, computers, instrumental music, sign language, just a variety of enrichment classes. We also have 61 students who are enrolled in our remedial course, and that gives them extra support in reading and math. And then finally, we have uh, an ELL summer school. ELL is short for English language learners, and that provides us uh, additional support to our ELL learners. We also have some curriculum projects that teachers are working on during the course of the summer. We have many uh, AP courses that are going to be starting in the fall and over the next couple of years, and so we have teachers who are writing curriculum for those AP courses. We also have a group of teachers in 6th through 12th grade working on our writing curriculum. They will be revising our current curriculum and making sure that there is a nice, clear scope and sequence in grades 6 through 12. Finally, the other project that we're going to be spending considerable time on this summer is uh, implementing INFORM. INFORM is a software package that we've purchased that will allow us to house all of our assessment data in one place and access it very easily. So we're going to be spending time putting that assessment data into INFORM so that teachers and administrators will have that access in the fall. And then later on in the school year, parents will have that access as well through our parent portal. Hi, this is Chris Mon, Assistant Superintendent for Finance for Batavia Public Schools. At the June 22, 2010 board meeting, the board adopted the budget amendment for the 2009-2010 school year. The only major change that we did from when the board put it on display on May 4th of this year was that we decided to write off two of the categorical payments that the state owes us. Each of those payments are worth approximately $1 million, so that took us from a tentative budget amendment of a $1.3 million surplus down to a deficit of $653,467.64. Now that does not mean that we can't collect that money if the state ever does receive the cash and can disperse it to the schools, but this allows us to go ahead and proceed with closing out our fiscal year at the end of June and uh, proceed into next year and forecasting next year's budget. Uh, the other things that happened on the operations side at the board meeting is we did approve the um, new building automation software from Tracer ES from the train systems. We also um, did a few uh, minor routine resolutions such as the Prevailing Wage Act and we transferred uh, the sinking fund interest uh, from capital projects into the debt service fund to help keep our tax rate at 469. Uh, some of the projects going on in the operations division over the summer for the business office were proceeding with the installation of our uh, new financial software, Infinite Visions. Uh, that will take up a lot of time, and as we, uh, especially as we're trying to deal with the end of the fiscal year at the same time. The Buildings and Grounds Department used the summer to really get into the buildings and get some deep cleaning done, as well as uh, tidying up some of the, the, the floors and walls. Uh, and, we, and one of the other big projects is we're uh, replacing the boilers at J.B. Nelson. And from the Human Resources Department of the Operations Division, uh, they'll be taking this time to, to exit and bring in new staff. Uh, a lot of the, the new staff that we hire will have to be processed over the summer, uh, as well as getting uh, all of the professional development ready for the, uh, the, the fall when the teachers come back. Some of the other things that we did at the board meeting on Tuesday night were we approved the purchase of new building automation software, the Tracer ES software from Train. Uh, that will allow us to have uh, online building automation uh, that our techs can work from uh, either here at RJAC or um, at, from uh, home at any computer workstation. We also transferred interest from our capital projects fund into the debt service fund to help keep our tax rate at 469. The board passed a resolution to do that. Hi, I'm Tony Inglesi, and I serve as Chief Information Officer for Batavia Schools. A couple of interesting items of note that are going on this summer in information services and technology. Uh, we're having new computers installed at our middle school. The district currently maintains an inventory of just under 2,000 computers, and we rotate about a third of that inventory every year. This year, the middle school, as I said, is up, and we'll be installing new computers there. We'll also be handing uh, laptops to 
teachers at the middle school this year. Last year we issued laptops to all of our high school teachers. This year it's the middle school teachers and hopefully next year, budget permitting, we'll do our elementary schools as well. Another item of note is we're upgrading to Windows 7 this summer. Uh, Windows 7 is a great new operating system. We're replacing Windows XP. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's easier to use and it makes our network more secure. A last item of note for technology, uh, we're installing a access control and surveillance system. This is part of the 2007 referendum and it's designed to make our schools more safe and secure. And that means that we'll be installing video cameras at all of the entrances and exits of the schools to monitor the coming and going of people. And also turning over to uh, electronic key cards. So rather than the, tr the uh, hard traditional keys that we've used in the past on our exterior doors, we'll be using uh, electronic cards and keys to, for uh, permitting access.